know guys, I'm really digging this new ride. It's nice and cozy like. Yeah Shaggy, like there's nothing like getting five full grown bodies in the world's smallest car. Well at least the top is down Fred. So why are we driving in this car again? I remember somebody left the keys in the ignition. Wait, who did? Fred did, Daphne. Fred did. Gee, gang, one mistake in seven years. So has anyone noticed how quiet Scooby's been lately? Now that you mention it, he does look a little down in the dumps. Like Scooby, you feeling okay, old buddy, old pal? <laughs> <laughs> He's probably just tired, gang. Yeah, he's probably just tired, gang. Like, maybe he's just worn out from chasing witches and goblins all day. Is that it, Scooby? <laughs> See, Scooby just has a headache. I know what'll take the headache away. How about a Scooby snack? <laughs> Thanks, Raffi. Something really is wrong with Scooby. He never turns down a Scooby snack. Wait, Scoob, tell us what's wrong. Gang, let's try to think back to when Scooby started acting strange. You mean stranger than a giant dog who can talk? Fred, I'm serious. Think back a couple days when we were out solving mysteries. Oh, yes. We were at that creepy old house. Oh, jeepers. That place gives me the creeps. Like, well, yeah, that place gave me the heebie-jeebies. We arrived at the spooky old house. Neighbors were complaining of hearing strange noises coming from inside. Well, gang, here we are. The old spooky house. Pretty creepy, huh? Like, I'm not digging this joint, guys. What about you, Scoop? <laughs> so what exactly are we looking for? Daphne, do you ever pay attention? I just told you five seconds ago. The neighbors have complained about spooky noises coming out of this weird house. Weird noises? Did you hear that, Scoop? Plus, there's weird noises. Help me out. <clears throat> Scooby, would you do it for a Scooby snack? Scooby, <laughs> Scooby, All right, guys. Let's go ahead and split up. Shaggy? Like, Fred, you, we already know. You're just gonna go with the girls. Me and Scoob's gonna go together. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, let's meet back here in 15 minutes. And guys, be careful. You guys are always getting into trouble. Oh, Freddy, I'm so scared. I need a big, strong man to protect me. Oh, please. Daphne, we know you like Fred. Honestly, if she would just lose the book and the glasses. <laughs> you know, Scoob, this house isn't as actually as creepy as I thought it was going to be. It's so far so good. Well, I don't know, Raggy. Well, if there was any monsters, I think we would have seen them by now. Whoops, spoke too soon. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Maybe it's just the wind. And like, that's what happened, fellas. Scooby got scared and ran into a tree. He blacked out for a few minutes. Poor Scooby, no wonder he's been so quiet lately. Yeah, poor Scooby, no wonder he's been so quiet lately. Fred just said that, Daphne. Said what? Wait, like, Scoob, you've got me worried, pal. You should go see a doctor. Rocker, uh-uh, no way. Why didn't you ever tell us uh, Scooby got hurt that day and about the uh, creepy old man that uh, was chasing you? Like you guys never believe anything we say anyways. That's not true, Shaggy. It's true, Fred. Plus, you know how many injuries me and Scoob have had over the years. How many? Scooby, do you think you'll be able to come on our next mission with us? Uh, Rick, 
my friend is getting worse! Wow, did anyone just see that creepy old man in the woods? What, what creepy, creepy old man? Old man? I'm sorry, did Daphne just say there's a creepy old man? <laughs> Daphne, I didn't see a creepy old I man. I know what I saw, Velma. I don't need glasses to see correctly. Let's circle around, gang, and see if he's still there. So it's Fred? Yes, yeah, Shaggy? Like, like, I don't think you need to circle around, Fred. What are you talking about? Freddy, do something! Like what? Put the top up quick! Hurry, Fred! He's coming! <laughs> quick, Fred, let's get out of here, man! Put the ah. to the metal! Stupid red metal! Stupid cars in the freaking and missing air! Come on! You want a new plan? I got a new plan. Run! Scooby Doo, where are you? I can't believe we left Scooby in the car. I can't believe we left. I mean, Jeepers. Why did we do that? Okay, guys, I've got a plan. Shaggy, we'll split up. Me and the girls will go. Oh, Fred. For once, can we not split up? Uh, okay, all right. Let's uh, let's attack this one as a group. Attack? Yes. So now here's what we're gonna do. Fred. Oh. Fred. Oh. 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 My wreck. Interesting. Scooby's pain seems to be getting worse as the creepy old man gets closer and closer to him. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, actually, I thought of that, but I didn't say anything yet. <laughs> Good idea, Daphne. What? Okay, gang, can we all just stick to the plan? Heck with your plan, we need to save Scoops. <laughs> okay, gang, we just gotta wait a little longer. I've gotta save a buddy old pal. No, wait, wait for Fred's command, Shaggy. Shaggy! Oh. Scoops said you are going to save him! Shaggy, no! Shaggy. Get away from my friend! Get away from my friend! Okay, ladies, on the count of ten, we charge, okay? One, two, Jinkies, Fred! Come on, Freddy! Oh, guys, why do we keep doing this? We, we, we should probably have a, you know, a different plan. This isn't working. Okay, gang, I've got a plan. Uh, Airhead, you grab the rope out of the trunk. Okay. Shaggy and Velma, you guys go down the road and split up on opposite sides. Let's catch this creep. Okay, that's my man with the plan. <laughs> Daphne, what in the heck is wrong with you? Let's tie him up! Good idea, Velma! <laughs> Velma, what, what about Scoops? Scooby, are you okay? Uh, I'm okay! So, Daphne, why the blood curdling scream? Well, well, Velma, I was trying to get the rope for Shaggy and I broke a nail! Unbelievable! I know, right? 
Well, anyway, uh, it looks like you guys caught the creepy old man. Well, it was all Velma's idea. No, it was a team effort. If Daphne hadn't screamed bloody murder, he wouldn't have fallen down, and we would have never captured him. Oh, Daphne, you're a genius. Oh, Freddy, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I've got some questions for you, creepy old man. So, first of all, who are you? And second of all, why were you staring at us as we were going down the road? Yeah, I'm like, why were you after my scoops? I am the subluxation. A sub what? Subluxation. Like, this is too creepy for me, man. Yeah, I'm not sure who you are, but you better start explaining yourself. Subluxation. Boom. Ah, I'm coming, Scoob! Jinkies! I think I have it! Where'd she get that book from? Did she have that the whole time? A subluxation is a slight misalignment of the vertebra, regarded in chiropractic theory as the cause of many health problems. I'm back, gang. Scooby's just taking a nap. What'd I miss? Well, Velma's on to something. We're learning about a subterranean. Uh, you mean subluxation, Daphne. Okay, Velma, so what does this have to do with this? I thought you'd never ask, but who's behind the creepy old mask? Let's find out. Just as I suspected, it's a subluxation. Yes, I am the subluxation. Zoinks! Uh, Velma, so w w what exactly do you suspect? I'm so lost here. Ah, uh, me too. I'm so confused. You see, a subluxation is when two vertebrae miss a blind. It can interfere with the nervous system and cause chronic pain. When Scooby ran into the wall, he must have gotten a subluxation in his neck, which has been causing all of his headaches. And so that's why every time this thing got closer to Scooby, his headache got worse, huh? That's right, Fred. You're so brilliant, Freddy. So, gang, like, what are we going to do about Scoops? He still has that pain in his head. Hey, I've got an idea. I just remember my brother is a chiropractor and he specializes on taking care of subluxations. That's great, Fred. So does this mean that Scooby's gonna be all right? Well, I've only heard great things about Dr. Drury. I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling kids. Well, you lose, Mr. Subterranean. Uh, subluxation, Dad. Fred, she'll never get it. Wait, come on guys, let's take Scooby-Doo to Dr. Drury. Hey Fred, what are we gonna do about the subter... subluxation? Well now that we've identified him, he has no power over us, so we're just gonna leave him here. Oh my god. All right, subluxation, there you are. Oh look, Scooby fell asleep. Okay, gang, we've got one sick pup. Let's get on the road. Yeah, this is one weird mystery. I'm just glad it's over. Scooby-Doo everything together. Sure, I don't see why not. Jinkies, Fred. You sure look a lot alike. Well, obviously, I'm the better looking one. Honestly, Freddy, sometimes you're so vain. Oh my goodness. Okay, Scooby-Doo, so what seems to be the problem? <laughs> 
My head really hurts. What did he say? When he said his head really hurts. Uh, I see. And so when did this pain start? When he ran into the wall. When he ran into the was racing after me, right? Like when he ran into a wall when a creepy man was chasing after us. <sighs> okay. Okay, Scooby, so uh, you come to the right place, okay? And first what we're going to do is we're going to have you come over here and lay face down and we're going to check your posture, okay? Okay. Okay, so yeah, your left leg is definitely pulled up short, Zoinks. meaning there's definitely a problem in your neck. So come on over here to the scanner. Scooby, this is a thermographic scanner. We're going to run this up your neck and it's going to measure the temperature on both sides and compare them. This will tell us if there's nerve pressure in your neck that could be causing your problem. Okay? Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. Look down just a little right there. Whoa, like far out. What are these crazy lines, Doc? Well, these lines show there's nerve pressure in Scooby's neck. <laughs> yeah, Scooby, these line, this line, it should be straight like that middle line there instead of... What do you see, Scooby? <gasps> Rig rag lines. Zigzag lines. Right, okay. So this shows us there's a problem. What we need to do now, Scooby, is we need to take three x-rays of these top two bones in your neck so we can find out exactly what's causing the problem. Did you know there's 274 ways just these two bones can misalign? That means we need to find out which one of the possible misalignments is causing this zigzag line. Okay, okay. now just hold real still, just one second. Okay, Scoob. Okay, fellas, so I've got Scooby's x-rays up here right now. And it looks like, Scooby, you definitely have what's called a subluxation, which is a misalignment up at the top of your neck at the level of the brain stem. Like, yeah, Doc, we learned about this earlier today. We were capturing that, uh, uh thing. Thing. Uh, anyhow, um... I, this is where your head pain's coming from. So we can go ahead and uh, if you're ready to get rid of the pain, we can go ahead and adjust your neck right now. Well, that's my rack. All righty. So like, Doc, is this safe? Oh, yeah. What we do is very gentle, very quick, and very easy. You ready, Scoop? Um, I'm ready, bro. Okay, let's go over to this table. Turn your head, look to the left, rest your chest there. Okay, look this way. There you go. That's it. Now just relax, okay? This is real simple. Okay. All right. All right. Bring your shoulder off a little bit. There we go. Whoa! That was crazy! <laughs> okay, Scooby, come on over here and have a seat and let's scan your neck again and uh, let's see what we come up with. Okay. Okay, so the yellow line was before, and that gray line is after. Like, no way, the zigzag lines are gone, Scoop. It's right. All right, so this is great. This was before, this after. This now shows that the bones are back in place, pressure's off the brainstem, and now the healing process can begin. <laughs> Thanks so much, Doc. You know, the whole game, we're really worried about Scoob. Yeah, absolutely. Well, now that looks great. So don't forget, let's check you again one day next week to make sure everything's still holding good, okay? Okay, break it up the third. Just another day at the Upper Cervical Spine Center. Scooby, you're all better! See, I told you my brother could help you. Oh, Scooby, we were so worried about you. Are you ready for a Scooby Spot? <laughs> Come on, gang. Let's go get some dinner. I'm starved. That's like the best thing I've heard all day! <laughs> Where's the mystery beetle? No, not again. Honestly, Freddy, did you leave the keys in the ignition no, again? No, no, I, 
<laughs> Unbelievable. Now who would take the mystery beetle? Scooby-Doo!